So I'm back from vacation. What did I miss? Let me take a look. Oh. Hey, Preds Nation. So sorry that I haven't been able to get this video out to you sooner, but up until yesterday, I was on vacation and was unable to produce a video for you. But that being said, let's get to the latest Preds news. Before I get to the players, I would like to welcome Dan Muse, who the Preds hired out of the United States Hockey League to replace Phil Housley as assistant coach. And as such, the team has promoted Kevin McCarthy to associate coach. Now for the players. Frederick Goudreau got signed to a three-year deal. The first two years are $650,000 if he plays for Nashville and $70,000 if he plays for Milwaukee for any of those two seasons. The third year is just a one-way deal at 700000 with the Preds. Goudreau had an amazing Stanley Cup Finals for a rookie. He had three goals, two of those goals being game winners in the, the games that the Preds won against the Penguins. If that Stanley Cup Final appearance translates to the regular season, this contract will be a bargain for the Preds. Pontus Auber got signed to a two-year deal of $650,000 a season. Prior to the playoffs and injuries to this roster during the playoffs, fans have been patiently waiting for Pontus to break out and prove that he belongs with the big team. Well, now with a roster spot seemingly assured, Pontus is going to have that chance. Now, I know you know who got signed after Obert did, but I'll leave him last. I'll get to Austin Watson next. Watson signed Monday to a three-year, $3.3 million deal at $1 million for this upcoming season, $1.1 for 2018-2019, and $1.2 for 2019-2020. Considering that going into arbitration, Watson was seeking $1.4 and the Preds were seeking $700,000, it's no surprise that they were able to work out a deal. An underreported fact that you may not know is, in the eight games Watson played after Johansson got injured, he tied for the team league with six points. Finally, there's RV! Going into his arbitration hearing, the Preds were reportedly offering Victor Arvidsson a two-year, $2.75 million deal per, and Arvidsson was looking to sign a one-year, deal at $4.5 million. I, for one, thought a bridge deal would be in the works, but to the surprise of me and many Preds fans, Saturday night, the team was able to hammer out with Arvidsson a seven-year, $29.75 million contract. That equates to $4.25 million a season. Most of the reaction I've heard to this deal is positive, and I, for one, think that this could very well end up being a steal for the Preds. I know this deal is only working off of one season of Arvidsson having the second biggest increase in points next to Connor McDavid, but the Preds gave Phil Forsberg a six-year $36 million contract after only two seasons of work, so I'll trust their better judgment. With Forsberg and Johansson, assuming everything goes fine and he gets re-signed, to play for seasons to come. As long as Arvidsson can put up 20 to 25 goals at the minimum consistently, he's well worth this price. Good. Now that we're all caught up in that, we can all sit back and try to wait patiently for the Preds to sign their number one center. Remaining currently, the Preds have about 13.4 million in cap space. For those out there who may be holding out a little bit of hope, Assuming Johansson gets signed to $8 million on his long-term deal that we're assuming he's going to sign for with the Preds, give or take a few hundred thousand, this should put the Preds out of the Duchesne talks. So that's it for this video. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm working with a brand new digital webcam. I was before producing my videos with a digital camera, uploading it to my computer, and editing and then publishing it, but with a webcam attached HD version that I didn't have before, this should make getting out work to you a lot quicker. 
So thank you very much for watching. Hit like if you like this video. Hit subscribe if you really like it. Tell all your Preds fans about my channel. You can always follow me on Twitter. I'm at CanucksBrokenBinity. And I'll talk to you later. Maybe next week. It all depends on number 92 now.